I'd like to call upon Mary Nicole to announce the Burlington Athletes of the Year, which is sponsored by TD Waterhouse. I'm going to start with the Female Athlete of the Year. This year we have a tie. We have an amazing athlete nearing the end of a fabulous career and a fledgling young athlete just beginning an international career on the World Cup. Let me introduce you to Becky Keller and Marianne Leeson. I'm going to start talking about Becky. For an athlete in any sport, the highest level of involvement and competition are world championships and ultimately the Olympics every four years. A member of the national women's hockey team since 1997, Becky Keller has played in four Olympic Winter Games. 2010, on de defense to win gold in a thrilling match against those Americans. 2006, in Turin, Italy, a gold. 2002, in Salt Lake City, again, gold. 1998, in Nagano, a silver. Becky's competed in seven International Federation Women's World Hockey Championships. That's worlds. Four gold medals and three silvers and innumerable other tournaments and competitions. One can only imagine the commitment, dedication, perseverance and energy it must take to commit to this much training, physical fatigue and self-sacrifice to achieve gold at the world level. I was very privileged to be attending a timeout about a month ago and Becky talked about the boot camp that the Canadian team endured before the selection of the team and the competitions in Vancouver. And we were absolutely blown away with the training regime that these women endured. Oh yes, Becky's got other reasons to be proud too. She's a mom of two children. Owen was born in October of 2004, Zachary in January of 2007. She and her husband Nolan are raising their kids right here in Burlington. Becky graduated from Brown University in Rhode Island in 1997, receiving an academic All-Ivy Award while playing hockey and women's softball for four years. And then she went on to compete, um, complete a master's in business administration at Wilford Laurier University. Since 2006, Becky has been playing for our Burlington Barracudas in the Canadian Women's Hockey League. On top of all this, she's been running a hockey camp for girls in Burlington since 2003. Becky Keller exemplifies what an athlete should be to her community and the world of sport. Congratulations, Becky, and thank you for adding so much to the quality of life in Burlington. Another amazing young lady, Marianne Leeson. This is a story of exceptional courage and perseverance that our selection committee just could not overlook. Hence, we've got a tie this year. When Marianne Leeson stood on the podium to receive the first ever gold medal awarded for alpine snowboarding at the 2007 Canada Winter Games, she would have no idea that her joyful triumph would soon be shattered by a devastating injury. While training at the National Development Training Facility in British Columbia, Marianne sustained a tibia fibula spiral fracture to her right leg. She was told it would be at least a year before she could ever consider racing or training again. However, just three weeks after surgery, which put a plate and 11 screws into her leg, this M.M. Robinson 
high school grad, was at the YMCA here in Burlington on crutches to work her upper body and her good leg. By mid-2008, she was again back training in BC. The coaches were amazed at how strongly she performed after that devastating injury. In her very first race following the injury, after 18 months away from competition, she placed a remarkable 10th at Copper Mountain in Colorado. From there, she went on to win a third at Steamboat Springs, Colorado. Marianne's goals were to make it onto the World Cup circuit and eventually the 2014 Olympics in Russia. When the World Cup came to Canada in February last year, she was thrilled to be invited to participate, although she was still on the developmental team. She was ranked 44th in the world, but her first run was the fastest of all the Canadian women, and she, faced, she finished an amazing 24th. She is now officially on the World Cup circuit. As well, she's now 5th ranked Canadian, and although she did not quite qualify for the Olympic team this past winter, she was the designated forerunner down the course in the recent Vancouver Olympics and was timed by the Olympic judges and the judging system. We have no doubt that she's going to go on to Sochi, Russia, for those 2014 Olympic Games. Congratulations, Marianne.